welcome to The Organized Cook. I'm Tony Spilsbury, and I teach busy moms how to save a lot of time and a lot of money in the kitchen. We ask ourselves, what's for dinner tonight? It's 4 p.m. and we don't have a plan. I think the question should be, what's for dinner this week? By having a plan and organizing your family dinners for the week, you're going to end up saving yourself a lot of time. And in the end, save a lot of money, not scrambling for last minute solutions. So what's on the menu for this week? This week we have lemon pepper pork chops with a rice pilaf and vegetable saute. We have Swedish meatballs with a spinach pasta and buttery garlic rolls. Then we're going to follow that with pork fried rice, Thai shrimp pizza, and a crisp Asian cucumber salad. And remember those Swedish meatballs? We're going to take our leftover meatballs and reincarnate them into hot meatball subs with green onion garlic chips. And then we'll end our week with a shrimp penny pasta and garlic bread. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration and show you how to, how to turn your time, reuse it, reincarnate the leftover, and spend more time doing the things that you love. It's Monday night. And what's on the menu? We have a lemon pepper pork chop with a rice pilaf and a vegetable saute. Super easy, super delicious. And we're gonna start with some pork chops, just some pork loin chops, boneless. And in the recipe, I call for one pork chop per person plus one to two extra. We're gonna go ahead and cook a couple of extra pork chops and use those extra ones to store because on Wednesday night, we're gonna make a pork fried rice. So let's start with our marinade. What I'm going to start with is a half a cup of olive oil. And then I'll add some lemon zest. So I grab a lemon, just put the zest straight into the olive oil. Then I slice my lemon in half, squeeze half of the lemon into the marinade. Mix it. So the olive oil, the lemon zest, and the lemon juice. Mix those together. Next, I'm gonna take my lemon pepper and just season each side of the pork chop, both sides. Flip. So we can season the other sides. Okay, so sprinkle both sides with lemon pepper. The lemon pepper's that peppery taste is gonna go perfect with the actual lemon. Little bit of salt to bring out that flavor. And then we're gonna transfer our pork chops into our zip top baggie. And like I said, this is perfect to do the night before or the morning of. So those pork chops can sit in that marinade all day. And when it comes dinner time, you're gonna save a lot of time by having these all ready to go. Once the pork chops are in the bag, you take your marinade and pour it over. Seal it. And then just massage it around a little bit. Make sure the pork chops are coated evenly with that lemon, with the marinade, with the seasoning. And then I'm going to place it in the refrigerator and let it just marinate. Okay, it's dinner time. So I'm gonna take my pork chops that have been marinating, soaking up that yummy lemon peppery taste. I set my oven to broil. And now I'm just gonna transfer the pork chops straight from the marinade onto a broiling rack. So we'll put these in the oven, let them cook about eight minutes each side. Okay, while our pork chops are cooking, we're gonna make a rice pilaf. So, I'm gonna start with three cups of rice. And I know you're probably saying that's a lot of rice. It is, and it's more than you'll eat tonight. The reason we're making so much rice is because we're gonna scoop out about two thirds of it, over half of it, after it's cooked, so we can store that for our pork fried rice on Wednesday night. So I start with three cups of rice, and that equals six cups of water. Two, four, and six. So 
So we'll bring this rice to a boil. Once it starts boiling, we're going to reduce it to low, cover it, and let it simmer until all the water is absorbed. While our rice is cooking and our pork chops are cooking, we're going to start with a vegetable saute. This is super easy and super delicious. So I'm just going to take a few tablespoons of olive oil, and then we'll take a tablespoon of butter, and just put that over a medium heat. I have one zucchini and one squash. So what I'll do, cut off the ends, and then I'll make uh, about quarter inch slices. I'm just gonna add those straight in to our olive oil and butter. So I'll slice my squash the same exact way, quarter inch slices. Add those to your olive oil and butter as well. I'm gonna saute them until tender. Add a little bit of garlic. After we add that garlic, we just want to move it around in the butter, olive oil, vegetables, just to coat it. We don't want the heat to be too high. We don't want to brown the vegetables. We just want to get them nice and tender. Next, we want to add a handful of shredded carrots. And again, these are just going to get nice and tender in that olive oil and butter. Now this is a little bit more vegetables than what you'll eat tonight. So what you're gonna do is take your leftovers, and you don't need a lot of leftovers, and this is actually going to be the topping on our shrimp Thai pizza on Wednesday night. So you only need about a handful. So after these get tender, you wanna scoop out about a handful of them, store them, put them in the refrigerator, and we'll get them out Wednesday night to use as our pizza topping. Now that the rice is boiling, I'll reduce it to low, cover it, and let it simmer until all that water is absorbed. Let's check on our vegetables. Oh, they look great. Getting nice and tender. I turned the heat down to almost completely low to make sure they didn't brown. I just want them nice and tender. Now I'll check on my pork chop. They both smell good, huh? Okay, I just flipped my pork chops. Now it's time to check on our vegetable saute. I think it's just about done. Now that they're nice and tender, I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of dried parsley and a little bit of salt. Tiny bit just to give it some flavor. I'll keep these warm. Okay, now it's time to check our rice. So we're going to scoop out more than half, about two-thirds, and save it for our pork fried rice on Wednesday night. And the reason that we're scooping out more than half is because tonight our rice is a side dish. We're making a rice pilaf tonight. But on Wednesday night, our rice is actually going to be our main course. It's going to be part of our pork fried rice. So I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just eyeballing it to say, hmm about more than half, about two thirds. And think about it. Come Wednesday night, half of our work is already done for us. Okay, for our remaining rice, for our rice pilaf, this is super easy, super tasty too. All we're gonna do is add a few tablespoons of olive oil. One, two, three some garlic salt, and what I've done is just bought a small bag of slivered almonds, so we'll add those almonds. And I love this dish, I think it's really tasty, and it's better than that box stuff. You know, a lot of people like to use the, the pre seasoned rices in the box, and they taste pretty good, but what you get in that is a lot of unnatural ingredients. You get the hydronated oils and other artificial seasoning. And this one is actually really tasty, and look how easy it is to make. I'm gonna to top it off with some extra parsley, and boom, rice pilaf.
Okay, I think our pork chops are just about done. So I'm going to take them out of the oven and voila, dinner's served. I can smell that lemon peppery taste. Okay, they're perfect. So here we have our lemon pepper pork chops. And what's even better is that we've already done the prep work for our dinners on Wednesday and I think Thursday night as well. You scoop up some of that rice pilaf. Love this flavor. And some of that yummy vegetable saute. So here we have Monday nights, lemon pepper pork chop, rice pilaf, and vegetable saute. And our extra pork chops that we made, I'm going to slice those up, store them in a container, and Wednesday night bring those out for our pork fried rice. Our extra rice that we made, we already stored for that pork fried rice as well. And these vegetables, I'm going to save just a little bit, just a small cup and we're gonna use that for our topping on our Thai shrimp pizza. So it's Tuesday night, and tonight it's Swedish meatballs over a spinach linguine with tomatoes and some buttery garlic rolls. So what I've started with is three pounds of ground beef. And like I said before, this is twice as much as what your family will eat tonight. But that's okay, because after we make our meatballs, we're gonna store a little less than half of them and save those for our meatball subs on Thursday night. So for our meatballs, we need some ground beef, some minced onion, some seasoned salt, and we have some oil in our pan. And then we're also going to use some breadcrumbs and eggs. So what I'm going to do is mince this onion. For my meatballs, I don't like thick chunks of onion, so I'm going to use a food processor. Now, if you want to chop your onion or, or use your, your blade to dice it fine, that's fine too. And remember, when you use the organized cook in the weekly meal plan system, there will be a couple nights that you spend more time in dinner preparation than others. In fact, the first two nights are typically 20 to 30 minute meals, but that work will pay off in the end because come Wednesday, Thursday, and especially Friday night, your preparation is going to be minimal. So, get my onion and I'm just going to chop it. So I have my onion ready to chop. I'm just gonna pulse it, so it's all minced. I'm gonna scoop out my minced onion directly into my meatball mixture. And just get rid of the large chunks. And what's important to note is that even though I'm only using half of this onion, I want to mince the entire onion because I'm going to store half for our Friday night. We're having a shrimp penny pasta. And so we're going to use half of this onion for our Friday night shrimp penny pasta. So what I'll do is just stick this right back on the food processor, put the rest of my onion in, and continue to mince it. And what this does is it saves me time. If I'm going to mince this onion, I might as well mince the whole thing, and that way I only have to clean my food processor once. Pull this. All of that mince. Beautiful. Now, I'll take this half of the onion and put it in a storage container, airtight in the refrigerator, and I just saved myself a good mm, five minutes come Friday night. So I get all the onion, it's nice and minced, it's gonna be perfect for our sauce on Friday. Put the lid, store it in the refrigerator. There, 